Hi, Julius. It's really nice to have you back in Monte Carlo because you are often here. But last time we saw us in New York. And um, I think uh, that you are a football fan if you are here for tonight and tomorrow. Well, I'm actually a football p f fan, especially in soccer. Uh, my favorite team, believe it or not, is uh, Napoli. Napoli. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Maradona Whenever. then. And Maradona. <laughs> and Caliendo, the owner of the Golden Foot, was his agent. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. 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 And I want to thank you for inviting me here to this beautiful event. Uh, that's so, um, I, we are so glad to have you here. And uh, I wanted to know how you started your career. Well, Lorena, uh, back in the early 80s, <coughs> I'm a pharmacist by profession. Mm -hmm. And a uh, dear friend of mine that I grew up with in my neighborhood in Brooklyn, was a uh, producer on a very well-known show in Hollywood uh, called Hill Street Blues. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had called me and said, Julius, he says, uh, I'm looking for a uh, part-time assistant that I could assign to a very famous director that's coming into our neighborhood who is Italian and needs a bilingual interpreter. Sure, because you have also Italian origins. I was born in Italy. I uh, immigrated to the United States when I was two and a half years old with my family. So when I found out that uh, it was a famous Italian director uh, that needed to be taken around the neighborhood to see locations mm -hmm. for his film, I accepted but my profession is a pharmacist. Sure. So while I had the uh, honor of working with Sergio. So it was a great experience, I guess. It was an experience of a lifetime that really enhanced my knowledge in filmmaking. And uh, through his work, I was able to become part of the industry. He sponsored me. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell you a quick funny story. It was in the trailer one day, mm -hmm. and he said, uh, Prendimi Giulio, prendimi un bicchiere di acqua. Si. <laughs> so I went and I got him this glass of water. I was a gopher. That was, uh, that's what I was paid to do. And uh, he opened up this little pill box, and he took out one of these, and one of this, and one of that, and I brought him the water. And he took the pills and he gobbled them down, <laughs> swallowed them all at one time. And I said, maestro, maestro, you, you, you can't do that. And he said to me in Italian, and I can't use the words that he said because... <laughs> it's a bad says, word. <laughs> who are you to tell me how I should take my medicine? So I said to him, maestro, I said, I'm a pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> I says, I'm here to take you around to show you the neighborhood, the Williamsburg Bridge, 18th Avenue, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I says, but as a profession, I'm a pharmacist, and you shouldn't be taking all those medicines together at one time. He says, ma tu sei un dottore. <laughs> he says, why are you here? What I are says, you doing here? <laughs> what can I, I cannot learn what I see from you as field experience in any university. I sure. says, I feel honored to be by your side to see the magical work that you're capable of doing and how it's put on screen. Well, at that point, what he's, what he's done is he put his arm around me and uh, he sponsored me in the Directors Guild of America. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to work 800 days to get fully vested. Yeah. And then he uh, imported me to Rome and I spent um, China Chita. at China Chita. I spent uh, six months with him studying and learning. And we were off to do a project called In God's Name mm -hmm. with uh, a very famous, uh, very well known uh, European actor by the name of Christopher Lambert. Oh, yeah. And French one. French. And uh, sadly to say, in the middle of our pre production, mm -hmm. He had passed away due to his 
his health and ailments and things of that nature. But to me, he was like, he was my mentor. He was my, you know, Your my maestro. professor. Your my, maestro. My, my maestro, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so y this is a great memory. And uh, I heard that now you have a new project with Tony Sheena, that you are in the realization of a new movie with him. Yes. Um, as a producer and as a major action producer uh, in the industry for over 30 years, one of the things that we always look for, especially in introducing a new person into the industry, is what are the qualifications mm -hmm. of this person? How can I take the choreography of the fight scenes and show them on film where they could be entertaining? Yeah as opposed to a film like Mission Impossible, which is action, which yeah. is great. But this in word choreography is very close to, to ballet. Correct. Uh, it's the, the same thing. Huh? Absolutely. And it's the choreography yeah. of the martial arts. And that's what, made this, that's what made actors like Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Lee, Van Damme, so different than your standard action film. Yeah because the viewers and the demographics of your action viewers, they want to see those moves. They want to mm -hmm. challenge those moves. Yeah. They want to see if they're real. They want to learn them, you see? So that is the hardest part. And I met martial artists all over the world because those are my famous films. Sure. And it's very hard to find the right person that is very well centered, mm -hmm. that will divest themselves from all the fanfare and all the lights and glitter that occurs in Hollywood yeah. and focus on what they bring to the table. So when I started with the Tony- The right personality. And a personality, absolutely. So when I started with tw Tony 14 year, almost 14 years ago, he was still young, 23 years old, had all the credentials necessary for the martial arts. Mm -hmm. He was world champ, worked since he was seven years old, and I seen something in him. Something special. Yes, as I've seen in other people in the industry that I've created that became very successful. And I knew he was still young. So during my training and guidance, mm -hmm. I had mentioned to Tony, you need to get involved in more of what you do in the world and show the world before you've got plenty of time. You're mm -hmm. only 23 years old. Usually action uh, stars and action figures start at 33 years old, 34 years mm -hmm. old. That's the age we look for. But he so impressed me during those years that he got involved and he took the knowledge that he had in martial arts, got involved with New York Police Department, started mm -hmm. training New York Police Department. From that, he got his certificates. Yeah, so, so to get some experiences that could help him to uh, achieve to mature, that goal, you know, to mature to and become, become a star, and become a star. And through that path, through that journey, he started getting involved in and created his own company mm -hmm. in London, which is a security company but not bodyguarding celebrities, but bodyguarding world leaders. Yeah. And that's what impressed me. When, when, when he focused and put all his energy into not the limelight of Hollywood, yeah. but to the reality of how he could leverage all of his knowledge and do a good cause with what he had. So at that point, I said, wait a minute, he's well done. He's not medium rare, he's well done. He's at that right time, at that right place to introduce mm -hmm. the next action martial arts star. That's great, you know, I'm, I'm really glad to have you with us here and tomorrow you, you will award a football player that has also been an actor, <laughs> so, you know. I'm looking forward to it, yes, <laughs> I know I heard. So we will discover that tomorrow. Well, I thank you so much for your invite, and you know I love Monte Carlo. I know, you are often here. I've been, I've been blessed to be here, which, and, and, and thank you so much. 
Thanks to you, Julius. Thank you.